We try and, and, and start placing the bales by late June, early July when we start bringing the first cut hay bales in off the field. We try and do it as soon as we can. Um, so we only have to handle those bales a lot of times once. And for a good nutrient load, it's best we find to have the bales roughly about 100 feet apart uh, width-wise and then about 50 feet apart within the row. And you seem to have a nice spread of manure come springtime with that density of the bales. So we're trying to have a straight row so that our poly wire fence um, doesn't have any jigs or jags in it and that way um, it, it has a lot of strength um, for the cattle. Um, we found that if we tried to go around just a few bales that that's where our weak point in our fence would be and our cows would likely get out at that point. When we set the bales we like to make sure that the flat, the butt side, is what's facing our poly wire fence. We found that if you place them the other way with the round side that sometimes the cows can push those bales and roll them right over our fence. So the bales are weighed uh, coming into the to the bale grazing so we know how many how much those bales weigh. We also know roughly how many cows we're going to put in that cell for the winter. So ideally what works well is if we could actually place the bale so every row is a day's worth of feed for the given amount of cows that you think you're going to have into that herd for that winter and then knowing your weight of those bales basically thumb rules between 30 to 35 pounds of hay per cow per day depending on quality of hay number one and also the type of cattle that you're putting in there. In your rows if your bales are 60 feet apart as long as your rings where then when they're done your rings aren't touching I find is the best way to have it. If you have extra room give them extra room and then the year after if you have room then you just plunk your bales. You can see the rings year to year you just plunk your bales in between those spots if you can. There's 50 cows out there so I have five bales out so that every cow has a chance to get around that bale. If you have only you know two bales for 50 cows every cow can't get around and get two bales so the old and the young get pushed off or the lame or and they just lose condition on you. So I target 10 cows per bale, give or take, but 10 works really nice. And everything gets a chance to get a mouthful. So when we set this up in the fall, I've dabbled with the spacing, but it seems like the 25 foot spacings between the rows and between the bales seems to be working good to get a good spread. Then we'll pound the posts around this field and have hard wire and then go stripping through there with the poly wire. You don't want to be recycling nutrients on the same field year after year after year. So it's nice to be able to, you know, spread this out and move to a different spot every year. We put the bales not on end, but flat. So we're shedding moisture and then we go with the rods with the insulator so we don't have to worry about frozen ground and we can just push the rods into the bale. 